We start tonight with some wonderful news. The Louisville police officer shot in the head during a mass shooting is making huge progress. Only WDRB Stefan Johnson spoke with Nicholas Wilt's family who shared the recent milestones giving them hope. Stefan. Officer Wilt's recovery is still long and slow, but he did something recently that all of us do every day that shows just how far he's come. I was there at work for five minutes. I got a text from Zach that Nick was on an active shooter situation. He said, I think Nick's okay. April 10th is a day that will forever define resilience for the Wilt family. For the first time, Officer Wilt's younger brother, Alex, is speaking publicly about how that terrible morning unfolded for his family. Not even probably 10 minutes later, I got a call from Zach saying that Nick's been shot. And that was, that was the worst call I've ever received. It has been a long journey for Officer Wilt since then, recovering at University Hospital and now the Fraser Rehab Institute. He's showing great signs of improvement. He's still got a long, very long road to go, but he's doing, doing great. And through it all, Alex, his mother, and Officer Wilt's twin brother have never left his side. We've been every day since this incident happened, and we, we enjoy being there and letting him know that we're, we're with him. Officer Wilt had only been on the job for a few days and was one of the first to respond to Older National Bank. The shooter killed five people and injured eight others before he was killed by police. Wilt was shot in the head. He would have been hit anywhere else. He would have right, got right back up and went right back in that building and did what he had to do. Alex says family members have seen police body camera footage of the shooting. Body cam video, it made us even more prouder than when we first heard of the incident. Um, so yeah, we, we are very, very proud of him and we love his courage and his sacrifice that he showed the community. Alex says something else in the video was very revealing. And one thing that mom actually noticed was when on the body cam, when his, when his hands were on the steering wheel, they weren't shaking, he didn't back down. He was, going, he was ready to go and ready, ready to end the threat. He actually brushed his teeth the other day, and um, I just think that's phenomenal. It just shows that he is progressing. Rebecca grignan Reeker is with the Metro Police Foundation and has been with the family from day one. Nick is a hero. He ran towards danger when everyone else was running out. Reeker has also helped organize several fundraisers to help yeah. Officer Wilt's family remain at his side. This money is going to go directly to Nick and his family and to support him during his recovery. The most recent, a karaoke fundraiser at Bud's Tavern in Jeffersontown on Thursday evening. It's been amazing. We absolutely love all the support. Family members haven't been able to attend the events, but appreciate the love and support. We love seeing all the pictures, all the everything coming in, all the cards. It's been amazing. Tonight's karaoke fundraiser started at 5 o'clock, but it goes until, so plenty of time to join the party. To find out how you can support or donate to the fund for Officer Wilt, just head to our website and find this story. Amazing strides, Stefan. Mm -hmm. Very Absolutely. encouraging. Thank you.